them in the switchboard team to show you some of the basics. Once you've added some contacts, your list will look something like this. Click here to add more. In case you want to use it by yourself before inviting friends, let me show you a couple cool features. In presets, you can use this slider so that you can choose the volume of the world around you. So if you're in the office, you can hear when someone is talking to you. Or if you're outside, you can hear traffic. The music might still be too loud for you to make out what's going on, so click this button if you want the music volume to reduce when external sounds are detected. This slider controls how much the volume reduces from external sounds, and this one controls how much it comes down when one of your contacts is speaking to you. Okay, back to the fun part. Switchboard is all about making voice communication easier than texting, allowing you to talk in real time rather than having a bunch of messages pile up. With a single tap, I can talk to James, Mike, or Dennis, who have in turn given me permission to speak directly to them. For now, anyway. It's really easy to change that, as you'll see. So I'll click on James. He's our CTO. Hey James, you there? Always on, man. Now let's try Dennis. He's cool, but sometimes he gets really talkative. Hey Dennis, you there? Yeah, I was just about to get in touch with you to tell you about my date. So I went to the supermarket and met this girl there, and she was like, have you ever bought tomatoes with green on them? I'm like, no, I only- Okay, we don't have time for that, so I've muted him for the next five minutes. But don't worry, he'll see that he's now talking into thin air. Finally, let's try Mike. He's our product manager. If you have any problems, ideas, or just want a real person to yell and scream at, Mike has volunteered to be that person. Hey Mike, what's up? Not much, just walking in the park listening to some tunes. Awesome. Hey, how do I leave a message when you're not here? Oh, you just swipe to the right. There's a button that lets you leave voice messages. If you want to talk to that person ASAP, there's also a poke button so you can send them push notifications, and they can connect directly from their lock screen. Ah, oh, wicked. Okay, thanks. I'll catch you later. No worries. Later, man. Now here's where things get really rad. We're making it so you can control it all with your voice. You can set up voice control down here in the presets. So right now my mic isn't on anybody, but let's say James starts talking to me and the app isn't in front of me. Hey, Jim. You still doing that demo? Respond. Yeah, man. Still doing the demo. Cool. Did you show them the music mixing yet? No, not yet. Just about to. So let's say you're the type of person who wears headphones at work. Good chance you're listening to music or something. On the Mac app, you can use your favorite player, but on iOS, we have our own. So I've loaded some music from Spotify, which I'm going to play. Now watch what happens when James says something. Check out how smooth that audio ducking is. And that's what we love about James. Great programmer, audio master, and as proud as he is corny. So that's Switchboard in a nutshell. And don't worry, we have plenty more voice commands coming so that you can control your level of availability, instantly switch on and switch off, control your music, and more, hands-free. We also have Slack and other integrations that you'll come to learn about. But now you know enough to play around with it and tell us what you want. Just talk to Mike, or um, Help Desk, and we'll make sure your voice is heard. And don't forget to invite your friends, coworkers, and family. Listen to more music, or whatever, at work, while still allowing as much or as little communication as you want, when you want. We also hope this helps to blur the line between work and play.